Welcome back nail queens. In today's video, I'm going to be DIYing my own gel paint nail art palette using a watercolor tin palette and jars, potted jars of gel paints. I have these from Young Nails and I have a bunch from Madame Glam. However, their color selection is pretty limited to about 10 or 12 colors. So I want to expand my color range. So I bought these gel paints from Savaland on Amazon. They come with 48 colors, I believe. The watercolor tin pan only has 40 cells that I can use, so I can only depot 40 at this time. I will be buying a second palette to depot others, so I'm going to show you guys how I do this. So this whole process was inspired by the MPA nail art palette. I will link that below. The only thing is it is $120 for the MPA palette, so it is out of my personal price range, so I decided to DIY my own version of it. Obviously the quality won't be the exact same, the gel paints are clearly different, but the concept and the idea is the same. So the watercolor palette comes with these magnets. They're adhesive magnets that are cut into these little squares. So I just pull off one of the magnets and I put it on the underside of this little block cell. And that is what I'm gonna put the gel paint inside of. It is magnetic, so it sticks to the tin, so it won't move around. Obviously you don't want to pull, like tilt your tin upside down so the gel comes out. So I think that's the only con to this whole idea is that if you, are not careful you can obviously make your gel get all over the place if you accidentally put the tin upside down or if you move you're kind of sol and all of this goes to waste because how are you going to package this for a move you know so i'm just going through the motions right now and i'm putting the adhesive magnets oh hey nails <laughs> sorry i did this mani for christmas and i absolutely love it just wanted to show y'all so i put the magnets on the underside of the watercolor tins and they're all in here and just making sure everything is fit it the way I want it to. And so next I have to get into depotting these gel paints from their little potted jars into these cells. And I'll just let you know that not all of the gel is going to fit into each of these little squares. There is more gel than there is space in the squares. Nonetheless, when I am doing nail art for either myself or my press on nail shop, I need a variety of colors accessible to me at one moment. And I don't want to open all these little pots and have them everywhere and everything. I want them already here. And all I have to do if I want to hide this from sunlight is literally just put the lid on the tray and I'm good. So in order to depot it, I take off the foil lid and I'm using this little spatula tool to pour the gel inside the cell. It is a little tedious and complicated. It, I did do this over the course of two separate days because I didn't want to sit at my desk for over an hour doing this. But if you have the patience and you use gel paints often, you may find this process to be very much worth it. So the MPA palette that I referenced earlier is um, that palette Obviously, the retail price is out of my personal price range, so that's why I did the DIY version using this. However, the plus side to getting the MPA palette is their gels don't come in these little potted jars like this. They come in tubes that you can squeeze in to the cells, making it a lot easier to do this process. And you can actually buy refill tubes if you run out of a very specific color. So that is the con to this system and the pro to buying the $120 MPA palette if you choose to get the original and instead of DIYing it yourself like I am here. So I'm just gonna continue this process until I get all of my colors depotted. And just a little piece of advice, if you are someone who uses gel potted paints, I find that removing the entire film using tweezers from the edge over removes the film seamlessly and it, you don't have to puncture a bunch of holes in it like I did for the very first pot that I depotted. You may have noticed that was a little messy. So use tweezers and you can remove the entire like little aluminum film in just one go. So here are all the colors all in my tin. So it only fits 40 colors and remember I had like 48 jars so I am buying an extra one and I'm going to put all of my neutrals and nudes in my other tin and this is going to be my colorful palette. By the way there's a lot of purples in this. 
I don't know if anyone else noticed, but that is a lot of purples right there. Hmm. Just noticing. Anyways, um, so here are the other colors that I haven't depotted. I'm going to buy a brown tin, and that's going to be for my nudes and my neutrals and everything. And it's good to have a second tin because these do come with like extra little cells. So if I want to mix my own little formula, I totally can, and I can keep that. So I'm putting the lid on this. I did write top on the top part of the lid. This way I don't accidentally flip it over or anything or get it confused, but I will also be putting a sticker on the top of the lid so I can identify which is the top very easily. They do sell different containers so you don't have to get an all white one they do sell one that has like for example starry night by van gogh there's flowers watercolor like the whole thing there's different designs and i'll link all that in, down in the description box below so thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you and i'll see you in the next video bye